Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokemon here. Today we have our next Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pro OU Shine Alive. And this time we are using the Dawn. Dawn Fan is one of my favorite Pokemon that came back. I was really excited to use this mod again. I loved it a lot in Gen 7 RU and today we get to use it again in BDSP OU. So I'm excited. And we got the Choice Band Dawn. So this is going to be kind of nice. Uh, if you guys are enjoying these videos, make sure you leave a like. You help me out only at any point if you do enjoy. And of course, if you are new to the channel and you enjoy as well, subscribe. I'm on the way to 300k and you help me get there. So, got these teams from Ozma. We got Choice Band Don. You can get on my website, Pokemon.com. We got Choice Band Don. Now, the reason we're using the Choice Band Don is because Fire Fang is a guaranteed KO on this Scissor spread. The standard Scissor spread that actually runs the fence. Otherwise, they're running like more special fence. Uh, so, it's a guaranteed KO and we're faster. So, I think that's pretty cool for things like Latios as well as Weavile. Um, we have Rotom to help us out with Breloom. Uh, it's faster than it and whatnot. Cooks it in one hit. Also, Reflect is pretty cool. Defog Scizor. Substitute three attacks Azu. Might make this Aqua Jet over one of these moves, depending, but Focus Punch just hits so hard. And then we have the Swords Dance Never Melts Ice. Weavile. So, we're going to look for a game. And as we look for a game, if you guys didn't know, it is Cyber Weekend. So, there are a lot of deals that are going on after Black Friday. And Black Friday deals are also on. Well, this is Black Friday's here. But, and it says ends today, but don't worry. Uh, I'm just here right before it actually goes live on the website. But if you guys want to pick up some stuff and you're in the U.S. and you plan on getting some stuff over the weekend, feel free to use my Best Buy link down below. You support me by doing so. And if you're going to get stuff anyway, I mean, feel free to support me. So, really sick team on our opponent's part. I like it a lot. Um, I defog relatively easily here, though. So, I kind of just want to lead off with the Dawn and just click Earthquake. As I lead off with Gyarados. I'm surprised considering I have an Azumarill, but that's completely fine. Basically, Latios helps me deal with this guy. Scissor's gonna help me deal with these. The offensive scissor might be a problem, but we're gonna go right onto Azumarill as they go for Taunt, which is probably the best case scenario, right? Now, a Bandit Play Rough would hurt them. I'm gonna go for Focus Punch here because I think they'll go either Scissor or Shuckle. Um, maybe they'll go hard Gengar, but. Yeah, they, they end up Dragon Dancing, which is fine anyway, because look how much Focus Punch did. That's a resisted hit. And this is the only thing stopping me from clicking Earthquake with the Dawn. So I'm going to click Player Off now as I easily live their attack. Ah, and that's going to open up Weavile as well. And then we can just safely go for Waterfall here. As we die. <laughs> but again, that is alright. Because we do have a Weavile, and Weavile can click the uh, nice and powerful Ice Shard to knock them out. Shuckle is whatever to me um yeah shuffle is whatever to me i think if i i go for swords dance first to force in scissor as they're gonna get up sticky web and then force them to encore and then go from there basically that's that's the thought process there so i think go for stop rock first which is fine you can go right for ice go crash never melts ice boosted as they power my, my damage <laughs> no <laughs> No! And that's alright that they final gamut because they literally cannot kill me in any hit. And as long as I default, my Dawn fan deals with their scissor. So they can't kill me in any one hit. They can go Gyarados and Taunt, I suppose, but... That's like literally it. But I'll U-turn on the Taunt, obviously. Peace. Bring out Lottie now and just throw off a nice little Psychic. So get rid of them. Scissor comes out. I have a Rotom Heat and it's ready. It's literally ready to cook something, so ASD there. Uh I'm gonna protect first just to see if they'll go Manaphy or not. Yeah, exactly. I didn't I basically I didn't want to overheat into Manaphy if I could help it. And what I can do now is just go Latios and drop a Draco. The Dawn clicks Earthquake and gets a kill. So whether they go for Ice Beam immediately, which won't KO me yet, or they surf. Gonna roost first. In case they go scissor so I can defog. And I'm gonna go scissor and defog. Maybe they double out into Gengar here. But I just want Dawn Sturdy to be up. Yeah, nice. So defog. That's fine. Go ahead and get rid of this. Um priority. I think you're always good to keep no matter what. They could Ice Beam immediately. Maybe they're not good to keep because I could Draco you and then I have this for Rotom and these guys all deal with the last two as well. Let me just U-turn here. Let him knock me out. Bring out Lottie. Go for that Draco Meteor. 
drop a Draco right on him. I couldn't risk them Ice Beaming right into Lottie. Exactly. And now, I can go right for the Throw Chop. Pick up my KO. I wonder if they double when they go Scizor. Because they could go hard Scizor, I guess, here too, because they saw that I was Swords Dance. Nice. Alright, so we get rid of that giant threat. <laughs> Scissor comes out, I'm just going to go Rotom. They don't know I have the Fire Fang, so the Fire Fang is always going to save me. And if they double, nothing kills me in one hit, and I can Volt Switch and break the Sash on Alakazam. Simply going to Volt Switch here. Again, they don't kill me in one hit. As they are Life Orb. Ooh, that is in range of Ice Shard, I would say. I'm going to Throat Chop here. As they're going to attempt to go Scissor on SD. Right, they... So if I'm them, exactly. I go Scizor now in SD, and then the Dawn is going to save the game. The Dawn wins. That's it. As long as I hit Fire Fang, the Dawn wins. And the Dawn is the Dawn, bro. It always hits Fire Fang. This is the Dawn. This is the Dawn, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Give me that, boy. And all I got to do, sack Rotom. Go Weaver, click Throat Chop, bring them down to their Sash, and the Dawn wins with Ice Shard, and that's a guaranteed win. Now, I could have went the Dawn first, but I want them to hit Focus Blast versus me, and I die, and then the Dawn saved the day. That's what I want. Look at the Dawn. First game, guys. The Dawn already did it. Yup, yup. I want them to think they win, even though there's no way. You know what? I, I know what they're thinking right now. They're thinking, or they're hoping that they were the Abra still that could teleport out this battle, but nah, bro. That's it. The Dawn did it. Good game. Look at the Dawn, bro. Oh my gosh, it was ready. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, the Dawn. Whew. That Fire Fang came right in clutch. Let's, uh, should we use the belt? The belt of the Dawn? That boy, boy taking off the belt. It's time. You know what? Let's use the belt of the Dawn. So this team originally had SD Braylon again, um, but it's, it's a little man if you weak when you look at it. So I made it Choice Scarf. Yeah, it's good for Suicune and stuff like that as well. Uh, and the extra belt Dawn looks pretty decent here besides them having, well, I wish I had the, uh, the Fire Fang on this too, but the Dawn looks hella strong still. Also, they have zero, and I mean zero answers for Dragonite, so that's great. Um, I like Choice Guard Brelum, I just get a Spore on basically any one of their Mons, this thing can't knock me out. So, we're gonna go for a Spore here, if they go Rose Rate, that's fine too. Perfect. They may go Rose Raid immediately. I'm going to make the Scizor play, though. I guess they... I mean, the Jirachi play. Excuse me. I've been using Scizor too much. Huh. I suppose they could just stay in and do that forever because I don't deal with this Mon very well. <laughs> I'm going to Doom Desire for later. In case they U-turn. Exactly. And I'm assuming when you go Needle King or Rotom, maybe, in Defog, I'm going to use Jirachi just to pivot. So I'm going to stay in on Needle King. Um, and I'm going to stay in on Rotom as well because this is something I'm pretty weak to. Well... Stay in, quote unquote. Right. I'm hoping there's Scarf, to be honest. I don't care about being will o -Wisp. u U-turn is only a, a way is, of getting out. So I would, I would love them to be randomly faster here. Yes, okay, perfect. And this should allow me to bring out Alakazam. So they're going to take a little bit, of, uh, not this turn, but they're going to take a little bit of damage in the next turn. Um... I don't think I need my Sash to beat this guy, so I'm just going to go for Psychic, because Scizor, especially if I get a Spadef drop, this this will do a decent chunk. Ooh, actually, yeah. And I got the, oh, your boy got a very nasty crit there. So, if we land the Focus Blast, Scizor is gone. That's perfect. That's a step one for the Dawn. <laughs> well, Belt Dawn is, uh, is okay here at best, right? It being sturdy is nice because it doesn't have to deal with Needle King. This is just offensive. Uh, this is basically the offensive spin. You can easily run leftovers on this too. But Extra Belt helps with like rolls with like Glide Score after Rox is two it KO'd. Uh, sometimes Wit Rox is two it KO'd. Um, a lot of these two it KO'd Rox, you know, dealing with Garchomp a little bit better. This has to be Scarf, right? I'm assuming you're Scarf. They go Needle King if I do that, but that doesn't matter. To be honest, knocking this out means I can click Earthquake. I click Psychic. Oh, okay. Well, I will definitely take a fast Psychic. I was already faster than your entire team. I was going to go Jirachi there, but this is nice because, again, they have no Psychic Resist. And 
me being Scarf Breloom means I'll be able to beat these three Pokemon. <laughs> also, now I'm faster than Rotom. I'm assuming Suicune comes out now. If it does, I'm simply going to click... I'm going to go Dragonite and click Outrage. Immediately. Well, I can Dragon Claw first, but Outrage is more fun. So yeah, with Rocks up, there's not a lot they can do. Oh, they go Raikou. Okay, I have no reason not to click this again. <laughs> Shadow Ball is not a K. I knew it. I knew it, bro. This is this is Zam. And that's Life Orb, too. Extreme Speed? Wait, no, no, no. You can't have that right now. <laughs> yeah, if they want to switch, it's fine, too. And obviously, Zam being Magic Guard doesn't have to care at all. But this is not the Dom, bro. Oh, gosh. Voice crack. Ew. <laughs> Why does that still happen? <laughs> I should Google that. I think I have Googled it before and I, I read an answer, but I wasn't 100% sure. I'm gonna go hard, Dragonite. It doesn't matter if they Skull Burn me, I just click Choice Man Outrage. Two AKO on Defensive Suicune. They Ice Beam me. Yep, that's Defensive Suicune. If they were all offensive, then uh, Breloom would have killed them anyway. And that's the only threat to my team right there. They go Needle King now and kill me, and I just click Psychic, but that's not fun. So when they go Needle King afterwards, I am going to go to the Dawn and I'll click. Do I have Rabbit Spin on this one? I do. Hmm. Hold up. Hold up. Hold everything. Hold everything. I can mix. I can do some fun stuff with this. I can use the Rabbit Spin Speed Boost to outspeed that Mon. Oh, oh. Well, depending on this, I'm still faster than this guy too. Dude, what you doing, bro? I'm not switching. I got no reason to. The Dawn wins. <laughs> Basically, if they stayed in with Needle King, which they might actually end up being, <laughs> I'm not sure. Maybe they were like, I'm not sure how they were trying to win because they, maybe they think Zam took spikes, but uh, I had Magic Guard. GG. Ah, look at the Dawn with the rap. So that's like the uh, utility of off uh, Rapid Spin on like the support sets. Or like the, the offensive spin sets, because you get the speed boost, and like, as you can see right there, how did not get a max speed rose rate? Well, I did a million. So even if they Giga Drain me, I think it would have been fine as well. At that point, I just clicked Psychic to win. But now we're going to go back to the Choice Band Dawn. I'm liking the Dawn, though. The Dawn is, the Dawn is here. Come to me. Expect my favor. Uh, Swords Dance Weavile looks pretty decent, but that uh, that clef is annoying, bro. That clef hella annoying, bro. The Dawn can click Knock Off immediately. I'm gonna use the Dawn to click Knock Off on Glide Score. Uh, I'm gonna use it also to KO this Pokemon. Oh, oh, you think you taking me with you? No, sir. I am taking you with me. That was a giant offensive threat. And this was another giant offensive threat. Just because, just because, I'm gonna make sure there ain't gonna be no rocks. So, I mean, that was one of the biggest threats there. Uh, Magazon can't kill me. Uh, Clef, I, I, I clicked Surf and Psychic. Yo. I clicked Surf and Psychic with my homie, and I'm good. I can safely go Rotom and not care. Appreciate you. Thank you. Hey. Love your pork chops. <laughs> that mean thing, I mean, they're so good, dude. No lie, much love, yo, legit. Oh, this is perfect. This is perfect. And they're speedy as well. <laughs> I want to see how much focus punch does the Tangrowth. Ooh, nothing. He <laughs> tech again. <laughs> Old school. So at this point, they kind of lose to Weavile. Uh, I just got to be uh, careful, I suppose. I'm not going to the Dawn because the Dawn is going to smash Clef. So I'll let this guy get sleep. Schlepped. And never too old. I like this guy. Perfect. I am just going to waterfall and not predict here. If I can get rid of this threat, then... Uh, facts. If I can get rid of this threat, then as the as the wheel, I can win. There's no point in... I would say subbing there. I'm still going to waterfall again. I'm not going to predict Tangro. They might try... Yeah, exactly. They might try and make an aggressive play there. But at this point, again, I know how I win. 
And that's one of the ways Magnezone comes out. They're probably going to flash here. I'm just going to click Waterfall. Dude, these specs, Magnezone's killing me, are all just so funny. Every single time they come out, they just kill. It's just so funny. But I get a free U-turn here, and then I get out Weavile and just kill something. The, the Magnezone's still a threat, right? But <laughs> whenever my Azu dies, bro, I don't be expecting it to die. Let me get up, uh, let me just, let me just overeat. Don't gotta predict now. I get damage on Gliscor, that's good. Uh, Clef is more than likely unaware. Clef is probably unaware. I just don't want Flash Cannon to beat me down, right? <laughs> By me keeping the, the Dawn, I'm, I'm, I'm being a little crazy. Let me, let me overeat again. Just in case they U-turn, trying to uh, take advantage of this. Exactly. Okay, good, 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 good. So the Dawn's looking still good. I overeat again. Uh, my bad, bro. So the reason I got that damage off there... The reason I got that damage off there is because... Um, it would it help Weavile and Lottie, basically. It's over at that point. I wonder if this is unaware. It is indeed unaware. So Clef gets cooked. Gliscor lives. And go hard into the dawn and just get some damage off. Ooh, big damage! Big damage. And now I can bring out Weavile. Click Crash just because it's strong as hell. And at this point, Tangrowth. Uh, well, every Mon on my team beats Tangrowth. So <laughs> we just crash here. Ooh, the Never Melt Ice making that a guaranteed 2 AKO is so sick. We go Scizor, we U turn around. But shout out to the Dawn. Like I said, that Cronut, a giant threat to my team. It came in and got a kill. It came in and got a kill every time. I can just go hard with him, dude. You can't. Again, Lottie just clicks Psychic and wins the game. GG. Yeah, but oh, the Dawn getting that KO is just so satisfying. That, did you guys see that damage to Glyscore, by the way? Like, that was. Good damage, hold up. That's 60%. You gotta round it up so it looks better. That's 60% to a Gly score, guys. Like that's 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 good damage. How many times have you had a Gly score at half that gets all the way back up to full? How many times have I had a Gly score at half that gets all the way back to full? Like it's it just happens. Like look at the dawn in this game, bro. I'm starting off with him. That's the homie. I'm clicking knock off immediately on something. My Zam is really good in the late game here. Um, I have Healing Wish as well. I gotta be careful about Scizor, but I think that sub Azumarill is super strong too for that, because I can Focus Punch, beat it, or do a lot. I'm gonna lead off with the Dawn. That's a free knockoff kill. I'll live every hit, obviously. Maybe they'll go Gliscor. Which would be great. No, they go for that, but I had no Shadow Ball resist anyway, so I will gladly take that Pokemon from them. Goodbye. Good be. I had zero Shadow Ball resist on my team, so peace. Uh, maybe they U-turn here. I'm gonna knock. So that way it helps my uh, Alexan beat them with rocks later with... Uh, basically now, rocks plus Psychic plus Shadow Ball kill Scizor. And I mean, this Mon also gets a kill, so... Extreme Speed wins at the end, which is what I'm going for. I'm faster than Scizor as well, so they just have... Yeah, this Scizor is not faster than me, my friend. That's completely fine. That's great. The big threat is the Breloom. I can go Jirachi. My own Breloom is really strong late game too. Throw off a Doom Desire for later. They might fear Psychic. They may go out to Gliscor. But basically, I want to throw off a Doom Desire. I want to get up Rocks. And I want to get my homie in. And right now, it's a guaranteed kill if I Healing Wish directly into Azumarill. Because Doom Desire comes off. I guarantee live everything. I just click Waterfall. I think Waterfall is the play just because I put Braylon in range. Nice, Infernape's gone. I'll take it. Heck yeah. Keep my homie out now. 
I'm going out to Breloom here. Did a lot. Just going to click Mock Punch for Chip. Bring out you. Click Psychic. Get my KO. Then they're going hard glide score, which is all right, uh, because at this point it's a guaranteed win now, because extreme speed knocks out Breloom. But shout out to the Dawn again. I had, like, y'all didn't see it, but I got the damage on Scissor, so I got two KO guaranteed. And I knocked out Gengar. And as you can see on my team, I have absolutely zero. No para. Again, I have zero resistances, guys. I have zero resistances to go. So, Sturdy Dawn doing it again, bro. Woo! The Sturdy Dawn. I feel like I was looking for multiple battles there because I, I, I hella clip. Also, gotta leave a like a sub, bro. I already subbing at this point. What's going on? But, um, I, I, I mean, I say this all the time, but my, uh, my new graphic artist, Scarzig, incredible. His thumbnails, incredible. His work ethic, incredible. Love him. Love Pedro, too. Pedro was moving on to bigger and better things. And I'm happy that he uh, found somebody who I love working with right now. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to say that. Because I know every single time I see the thumbnails, you hype. I don't think I can break stall, going to be completely honest here. Tangrowth is a problem with this team. Plus Quagsire, but uh, I'll try my best. Yeah, I don't have rock, so it's a little bit frustrating. We've all has to break every mon and it does it only KOs two mons on the team. It, actually it only KOs one mon on their team. And that's Latios. Everything else dies. <laughs> or beats it 1v1. Uh says are you turning a save? I don't think I can break stall, like I said. I tested this team twice and they just didn't have options versus that. So this will be an L. Now if I get a little bit of chip on this guy, like that's the chip I need for a choice ban to knock it out. I wonder if Ladio, this guy has counter, if it even has counter right now. All right, we're going to bring up Dawn Fan here. I'm anticipating maybe Blissey or Scar don't want to come out. I don't think you stay in, and uh, if I can bring out the Dawn, if I can click Knock Off on Blissey, that'd be, gut, that'd be good. That'd be obviously very good. Knock Off on Scar would be strong. If they go back to, uh, to Slowbro, Knock Off is good. Uh, based on the U-turn damage, Knock Off is doing 70-something percent from a choice band Dawn Fan. The Dawn is, is doing damage. The Dawn is doing some heavy damage. Should I anticipate this person to be crazy? Because they're, they're taking a long time to go out to like the one Latios counter in the entire game. <laughs> like, the literal one. Yeah, bro. Alright, so I missed there, unfortunately. It's all good. We're going to go... I'm gonna go Ozzy here because maybe they'll take this time to click Stall and maybe they'll click Poison on me. Or I'll Poison move on me. They can't break my cell with Scald, so we'll click Substitute. That's not breaking my cell either. Click that Play Rough on Tangro. 29%. Focus Punch because it'll do 34%. <laughs> Ooh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. That's a dirty roll. That's a dirty roll, and I'll risk it. I'll hella risk it right now. That's a dirty roll. I'll risk it. If I can kill Tangrowth, the Dawn doesn't have a chance, but it can play Earthquake-ish. Hell yeah, dude. There's no way your water absorbed. Give me the flinch. No. The Latios here. We're gonna bring out the Dawn now on Blissey. I guess knocking this guy off is good too because it can help me my Weavile beat it as well. Maybe they think it's still a seed bomb. That'd be actually really good. Nope. I get toxic there, but that's whatever. Latios can come out now. Just click Roost to reveal that I have it. This set can literally never touch me. And we'll go out to the Dawn again. I don't think you stay in. I think you go uh, Bliss still. Yes, sir. All right, click Choice Ben Earthquake just in case they didn't go Scarm. So I have, I have options. In, I, I I don't know. I don't know. Maybe because I'm burnt on Latios, I can outlast their team. Because Latios is good versus like five out of six of their members. But I'm not 100% sure. 
If I had will o wisp that would help. I need to position my, uh, I need to position my Azumarill here. If I was the opponent, because Azumarill is a threat, I'd always try and like pivot into, uh, into a little tank. Do you not get counter rating? Like, like this mod coming in way too happily. Okay, well, I'm in the wrong gen. You don't. I'm making sure. Making sure you bring this mod in like it's your best friend, dude. I'm, I don't know what to think. How am I supposed to think here? You got Ice Beam too? You a Beamer? Scald, Flamethrower. Okay. I'll make the, uh, the Azumarill play. Once again, and just click Focus Punch on something. So this is, this is Special Defensive Combine Slowbro. Interesting. That's a threat too. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. That's not, there is, that is definitely not, uh, like, it is definitely still a threat. But it lives a hit from uh, Latios after plus one for sure, so. Let's see if it KOs a Zumro sub. That's plus two. Sorry about that. 22 to 26 percent. It's in my favor. Jay, I feel like you you know you got regen. You can just switch to Blissey and never risk a crit. Ah, right, that's fine. We go for sub here. Again, scalds are in my favor. Now they're not in my favor, obviously, but I do big damage and I'm gonna go for it. These scalds are annoying. Mm. I don't need Scizor Healthy to win. I just need it. I just need it live. I'm gonna use the Dawn and knock this guy off. If they attack me, then I get a Weavile. Yeah, so I'm gonna do 76%-ish with this knockoff for sure. <laughs> like, I'm definitely doing 76%. All right, they go Skarm, which is great. A huge threat. We got rid of its, uh... Sturdy, I suppose. I can bring out my scissor now. Defog on slow bro. I didn't want to risk roost. I didn't want to click roost just because. I'll bring out Rotom now. Raw. This guy wild, bro. Bring out the Dawn. Good. It stopped them from healing, which is what I wanted. Uh, they got SD in their freaking face. Because I, I, I can't win without flinches, right? So I might as well... This is the chance to get them. <laughs> this one's a threat. Two, Skarmory. Actually, I can afford to throw chop wounds. If it even kills. Better kill. You better give me this mod. If you stay in it, better kill. <laughs> Again, this is, uh, I had to go Dauntman because if they recovered, I do like no damage to them anyway. But this is a tough game. Skarm is a little low though. It's the Quag, man. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta flinch that boy. I would love for them to go hard Quag, get crit, Ice could crash, I flinch them. And then they click Protect for zero reason, I click SD, and then I flinch Skarmory. And then I flinch the, that mod. To zero. <gasps> Let's go, baby. No! Don't tease me, you damn game. Do not tease me, game. Don't be teasing me like that, game. Come on, game. Don't be, don't be teasing me like that, game. A raw focus punch. Scizor. U turn. Hard Weavile. No chop. It's the same thing as before. <laughs> Your throat has been chopped.
Velotti. Looks psychic. Double to Azu here. Good player of this time. My opponent is throwing. Oh, this is Combine Bliss too. That's awesome. Like not like in the sense like it's actually awesome, but it's cool. I think I play off again actually. I go hard, Scizor. That's okay. Because it's it's still the same exact situation as before. That's all right. They're here. The weekend. Lottie, 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 Lottie is looking still good. Are you Yachi Berry, dude? Don't try the fifty-three percent, bro. <laughs> I don't care. Me being never meltized means this is gonna do like 40 something percent. Come on, man. I need to hit every attack. I need to hit every single attack to win this game. And get lunch, luck, to be fair. Oh, hell yeah, this did a lot. Alright, so give me Skarmory. Awesome. I didn't have Defog anymore, so. There is no freaking way this does anything. Oh, I could get a crit here. I did not get the crit there. Let's go right for player off in the tango. Word heats my play. Right back on the Latios. Your scarf, so be it. Roost here. Alright, I need them to beat Draco. It's gonna come down to me flinching anyway, right? As usual, so. I might as well just go for it. Shoot. If I'm gonna have to flinch everything to win, I'm gonna do it. Like, I, I mean, I'm glad I killed the Pokemon at least. I wanna see how much it does. This should be like close to half, yeah, because of the. Uh, Let's go for it. So we can throw Chop there safely. Because he weren't Rocky Helmet. Oh, there's the other Mon I have to uh, have to flinch to death in order to win this game. Well, let's do it. There's the other Mon I have to flinch to death. Player up just in case they randomly switch into that. Need you to crit. Going running wouldn't have won me the game. And then they win. Good game. Yeah, so I mean, I got it closer than I needed to. If I got that one flinch on Quagsire when they played a little bit with it, I could do it. But again, that was like, again, it got a lot closer than I thought it would be considering the stall matchup is not very strong with this team. With Rocks up, Azu 2 KO stuff, but that's not the way the Dawn works, bro. Oh, I would love to be Choice Van Don in this, man. Very similarly, pretty annoyed by this mod. Scarf, Breloom, click Spore on something. So I'm going to start off with that. If they go off with Infernape Bleed, a little rough, but we can manage. But yeah, being able to Spore like Clef, Glyscore, anything from the get is just so good. I think that's Scarf 8 on this build. Do I have this team? Hello. I just didn't knock on one of my Pokemon or crit me and then say Pokemon. <laughs> That's like the habit. That's like the, the YouTube starter kit. I don't have as many teams as I want. Oh no, who's that? Why is that guy there? Whoa, what are you doing there? I was team building. Hey, thank you, fam. Have fun. I'm just gonna click Bullet Seed immediately just in case they're. Uh, they're not Scarf, or they're fa they're like faster than Breloom's, so they decide to like Volt Switch or Will-O-Wisp. 
I have Healing Wish so I can get back from this turn. Oh, also them going hard into Gliscor before it even gets uh, the hits is pretty cool too. Unfortunately, I don't beat it down. Uh, I do not want to go. Yeah, if I got four or five, I would risk this here, but I'm not. Don't want to go out to the Dawn. I don't know if I need my multi scale on Dragon Knight in this game. A facade immediately. I'm going to uh, bring out Jirachi just to get up Stealth Rock and then position Azu to hopefully get a kill. Yep, there's Clef. Perfect. So we bring out Jirachi. Uh, they, they should know that this mod doesn't get Iron Head at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> there's more likely a finality, but I at least get to bring out. Uh, I just get to go for Doom Desire now. I get to go for Doom Desire, and with Stealth Rock up, oh, Breloom is a threat, man. Breloom's a threat. I'm assuming they go out into their Scizor, though. Ooh. So there's the Doom Desire. Let's see what they bring out. For Wish. I'm U-turning always. The fact that I have a spinner is always so cool. Like, if they go Scizor here, <laughs> and I was able to bring out the Dawn that spun, uh, that had the Fire Fang, that would have been sick too. But... Hmm. I'm going to go you and just click Knock. Because I live Moonblast. They can't stay in. They have to stay in on the Doom Desire. Okay, well, I mean, I'll take it. I'll take it. This is your fairy. Nice. So, I mean, there's their fairy. I'll take it. There's a Shadow Ball here. I mean, I am really weak to Gliscor, too. Like, there's a lot that I'm weak to. But, Shadow Ball there. Uh, I'm not actually going to keep my Focus Sash. I'm going to break it here just to try and get damage off of them with Focus Blast. So that way, my Azumaru and my Breloom could kill. But that is Pokemon, unfortunately. My Zoomer will kill them after. I should have just went for Shadow Ball again then. And that was my fault. They could bring out their Mon and just click Mock Punch. If they go Ape. Yeah, that miss sucks. Uh, there was no point in spinning. With the, eh, the spin would have been better, I guess, versus the Clef. Ah, that miss sucks. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> goodbye, Clefable. <laughs> I'm not sure why they brought it in, but I would gladly take this Pokemon from them. That was weird. I guess they wanted to be able to bullet punch me after, which is fair. And they U-turn. I mean, that's awesome. That's an extreme speed range now. Perfect. And my uh, my Azumar is faster, so depending on what they bring out, I'm in a good spot, man. Plus, Bullet Seed looks really good, too. Yo, there's a lot that's going on here that could be helpful for me. <laughs> Hell yeah, you love to see it. You love to see it. I understand, though. I love clicking U-turn with that Pokemon, too, bro. Alright, so we go U, and we 100% click um, Bullet Seed. If I get rid of Rotom... I mean, that's the Azu answer. Another one of the mods that can take extreme speed. Basically, if Rotom's gone, Azu comes in and clicks Waterfall into Play Rough on everything, and everything dies. Oh, I would also like for them to go hard. I guess Gliscor, too. I would like Rotom to die. <laughs> in, you know, in any situation, I want Rotom to die. I think that's what I want the most. Oh, that is also really good to die as well. Come on. Ah. Gonna bullet it again. They know I could mock punch, so maybe they'll go Breloom. Uh, they'll go Gliscor. Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. So they expected me to mock punch there, which is why they went out to Gliscor. So if I get some decent hits here, I'm gonna go for it again here because it's a free turn. I did not get it, unfortunately. I have to be extremely careful. 
the end game is gonna be really rough. But like Scizor dies, so I'm I'm not worried about that. My end game is gonna be hella rough. I'm just gonna take this hit, this earthquake. Which I'm hoping they go for. And then you turn into a Zumaril. And go for substitute. On hopefully a scissor sack. Perfect. So I'm gonna go for sub here. Ideally they sack scissor. Because then Rotom has the voltage, which means I get a kill at waterfall. Yep, yep, yep. Perfect. So Rotom is forced to volt switch versus me. So I can waterfall versus that. Maybe they go in front of it. Maybe they go Lottie. I don't know. It doesn't matter which one they go. I get chip on one of the other, and one of them lets me get in Jirachi again. So the bullet seed is looking good. I would love for them to go in front of it. Yeah, they do on the expected play rough. Cool. So I get to pick up my KO. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm going to make the Jirachi play here. They're going to surf there. This allows you to come in. Click player off. Psychic won't kill me. Player off does a lot of damage to everything. E-Speed doesn't kill Lottie yet though, so... This is rough. Play rough. Oh. Yep, I told you Psychic won't kill me. Lottie dies. Awesome. They Volt was there. I bring you out. I pray you're slower than me. Nice. So this is a free outrage. How'd they know, dude, that they were uh, that was choice ban? <laughs> I still have to break through. So this is my play always. In order to win, I have to break through. You get like five hits as well, so. What if I was Dragon Dance? <laughs> like, I guess roosting you had to do. This is just always roost spam. Uh, I have to pray I never hit myself. And then I have to get like five hits twice with uh... I have to literally pray I never hit myself. And they have to hope I never crit them because 68 to, uh, with a crit is a kill. Again, they should always be roosting. Look at me breaking through. Look at him. It's like he doesn't know he's confused. He's just mad. It, this is for the dawn, isn't it? It's for the dawn, bro. It's for the dawn. He's not even thinking about it. He's just attacking. He's not even thinking about it, bro. Oh my god, it's for the dawn. No. The dawn is... The dawn is falling. The dawn is fall. You know what? That was so impressive, though. I'm gonna be completely honest. I can't even be mad. I lost here, unfortunately. Um, can't even be mad, though. Like, that was actually hella impressive. If I got the initial hits on Gliscor as well early on, like, I had options to win. This is why Bullet Seed is, is whatever, though. Like, if, if I got the early hits on it, I smashed it, man. But that was so impressive. I can't... GG. That was hella impressive, bro. I mean, I look like, like, if, like, if I got that in the beginning, that was so impressive, bro. That was so impressive. I gotta get another one, man. That was actually really impressive. I wanna use that team again. Let me use the belt of the dawn again. That was, I, I, I'm, I applaud Dragonite for that. I mean, it's not really sorry for the luck, dude. You, I think the odds are in your favor that I hit myself if I keep going for it, so. But that was so sick. Uh, you know, hold up. Sword and Shield was out for two years, and this is the same, right? Ooh, 
Ooh, that looks hella gen 4. I'm gonna use the Dawn here. Actually, if that is lead Lumberry Machamp, I'm gonna be really mad. You know what? Let's just start off with Choice Man Dragonite. Because if it's not Sash Machamp, I kill it. I can outrage their entire team. I'm literally gonna click Choice Man Outrage because Machamp is annoying and it's a Pokemon that can kill things. Metagross doesn't have Ice Punch right now, so this dies. Yeah, exactly. If it's not Sash, it dies. I know, because Choice Man, Dragonite was another lead I used to use back in Gen 4. So we KO Machamp immediately. Perk comes out. Oh, another mom we need to weaken. Hell yeah. What I hope happens here is we get a three turn and we just kill it because Perk's not gonna die in one. <gasps> yo, yo, yo. <laughs> what the hell? Yo. What? <laughs> they said no more. No more shall I play this game. I go for another one. Why not, man? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me load up the, uh, the choice band on. I think that the other one has better matchups versus things. Oh, look, another one. The, I think the other one has better matchups versus certain things. We have double dawns. That's sick. But, I don't know. <sighs> Rotom's a threat, man. Salamence. Azumarill is really good behind a sub, so that's going to be nice. I'm gonna start off with Dawnfan because I can click Earthquake and knock off versus everything. Yeah, they lit off a Rotom. Makes sense. It's hella good versus me. Maybe they'll Volt Switch here. Or Willow. As I bring out uh As I bring out uh Lottie. But basically Dawnfan matches up pretty decent versus a lot. The ice shard's gonna be cool for Salamence too. But I have double ice shards, so I don't really have to worry about that. But Champ is annoying, but I mean, what I hope happens is I'm in a situation where I get in Donphan versus Machamp, or Machamp comes in on me, takes a million percent, and then gets smashed. I would love to click knockoff here, but it's not the play. I can't. But later, later. I do think you should fit, uh... I do think you should try, if you use this team, you should try and fit hazards on it, but... Get a million off on Jirachi there, which is fine. Get to bring out Scizor, just free, and just defog away immediately. The rocks, if they have it. They thunder wave, which is annoying. Uh, I get a U-turn off. Dude, really? I'm a Scizor. Yeah, good. I'm gonna click knockoff now. Choice Ben knockoff. Hope you, hope you click uh, thunder wave again or something on my not ground type in front of you. <laughs> Perfect. So. I guess some you oh my god that's beautiful damage like I said beautiful but damn I meant it like <laughs> I said beautiful instinctively <laughs> but that's Weavile range for sure all right dude you got it I'm assuming you go Machamp now and just start clicking buttons oh my god that is a Machamp that is a my goat uh, we're gonna sack our Rotom here. <laughs> I want to protect just in case they switch. Like, is I'm, I think I live bullet punch after protecting. <laughs> Dude, do you not know what mon I am? And I'm also faster. Like, why? Why did you make that play? They don't like switching into Weavile. I'm going to quick throw chop because I am not going to risk this mon. Now, this is the only mon they have that can switch into Lottie. Now, they're going to bring out a mon I can't switch into really, really soon. <laughs> <laughs> Their name is Machamp, if you didn't know. But that's the only one I can switch in. So, heck yeah. Maybe Gengar comes out. If they go Gengar, I bring out my, uh, my Scizor. If they go Machamp, I, have to, I need a couple more turns to think about what I want to send underground. Because, you know, I like my Pokemon. They're nice guys, you know? Why do they always finish last? Like, give me this. So they can definitely send out Machamp though and just mess me up with Facade. Like that's all they have to click this turn. Do I think that the Dawn has a better shot at winning this game? Because if I do, the Psychic is really strong too. And my Ozzy is crazy. I think I go Scizor just in case they don't click close combat even though they have no reason not to. Yep, nice, nice. Hey, I will take a little bit of chip potentially on you. That'd be great if I can get a bullet punch off. Awesome. So that is 
that can never switch in now later? Heck yeah. Hmm. Minus one. Bring out you and click psychic. That's free. So at least that, that mon can't switch in on anything later. I would love for them to give me Rotom now too. <laughs> Please. Let me ice shot you in the late game. Please, huh? Let me ice shot you. If they go Dawn fan, I click Psychic and then I go Azu. I'm potentially ice shot, obviously. Yes, okay, they gave me Rotom. Perfect. Get that threat out of here, bro. That demon out of here. Come on, dude. What? Like, really now? Alright, we know there's Scarf. Like, that didn't kill. I get a Choice Band Earthquake off. And they gave me a champ, which is great. <laughs> and they're giving me this, which is great. I think I win either way. Yep, we win. Nice. Look at the Dawn go. He don't care. Hard choking going right into Azu. The Dawn will win this game for me. I have, I have double eye shard in the back. There's zero way they win. Perfect. Now there's guaranteed zero way they win because the Dawn will win this game with me. What'd I say? What'd I say? The Dawn is in, baby. The Dawn is in. Good game. Ah, I hope y'all enjoyed. Uh, make sure you leave a like. Check out the Dawn. <laughs> check out the, the team. Uh, check out the, uh, the Best Buy Cyber Weekend sales if you'd like to. And uh, yeah, team's on my website, pogames.com. Uh, I'll see you next time. Peace.